Miles Holiday, Kelsey Beimer on hand for this big matchup between the Anna Rockets at three and two and Delta St. John's, the Blue Jays at two and three. Both teams coming off a victory last week. Anna with a big win over 21 to, over St. Henry, 21 to 14. And of course, uh, Fort Lar Recovery was the team that Delta St. John's defeated at 27, 14. And where else would you rather be than here, right here, right now, Kelsey Beimer? I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. I'm so excited to be here commentating this game with you, Miles. It's good football weather today. Well, I know you liked the weather last night better, but I'll take 75 and partly cloudy out over getting pelted with rain. Yeah, Weatherman has definitely cooperated here today. It is a beautiful 75 degrees. Not much wind last night, tons of rain. It yep. affected a lot of games, a lot of wind. I don't think we're going to have any of that uh, tonight, uh, this afternoon rather. And we have two really good quarterbacks are probably going to be happy about that. Absolutely. Alex Shappy for Anna, 65%, over 1,000 yards passing, eight TDs. And he's also a good runner with 183 yards and three TDs. What is it about Alex Shappy? that you like. Yeah, he's a fantastic quarterback. I mean, he has the second most passing yards in the MAC behind Minster's quarterback, Brogan Steffi. So he's really good. He can sling the ball, and uh, that's definitely something that Anna's going to want to watch out for. And you're going to have to watch Drew Boggs if you're Anna because they're going to get the ball first. Delphi St. John's will be receiving the ball. Drew Boggs, one of those uh, senior players on this team that uh, really has to have a good game every time if Delphi St. John's is going to be successful. 53% of his passes are complete, 556 yards, four TDs, four interceptions. He's also ran for 232 yards. But Kelsey, they're going to have to do it without TJ Wirtz today, uh, number 46, a big part of their offense. He's on the sideline in crutches. Yeah, we are doing our prep, and I noticed that TJ Wirtz wasn't in the lineup, so I text you miles and was like what's going on there so that's going to be a big hit for uh st john's but they do have riley Mueller who also can uh, put up a good amount of numbers as well for the st john's uh, st john's is introducing their starters while they do that kelsey let's go through some of the keys uh, for both teams yeah absolutely so first we have some keys for Delta st john's provided by coach todd salty uh first off they don't want to give up any big plays on defense they want to make anna earn everything and just looking at these stats, Anna can produce offensive yards. They're second passing offense in the MAC, and they have three players in the top ten in individual receiving yards. So you definitely don't want to give up any big plays. That's something for uh, this, the Blue Jays to watch out for, for sure. Second, they want to control their defensive blitz packages. Anna's defensive line has eight sacks and 12, 12 tackle for losses on the season. And not to mention, you have your linebackers and your cornerbacks that have lots of tackles for losses as well. They have a lot of defensive players who can make big plays in the backfield. And lastly, for uh, St. John's, Coach says just do our jobs, execute more consistently, and I think that's going to be important for both teams. A little Bill Belichick there, do your job, and you brought up picking up blitzes and stopping big plays. Nolan Wilt for Anna, a tremendous defensive player, five sacks and seven tackles for loss. So Delphi St. John's going to have to keep an eye on number 55. How about some keys for uh, Anna? Yeah, from Coach Nick Marino. First off, they want to win the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. We talked about it a little bit earlier in the game. Both St. John's and Anna have really good quarterback running back duos. So it, controlling that line of scrimmage is going to help out on both sides of the ball there. Second, they want to create pressure in the passing situations. Drew Boggs, we talked about him as well. He can produce passing touchdowns, he can run. So they definitely want to keep an eye on him. But if they have it good in the covering the passes, watch out because he can run as well. And lastly, they want to create explosive plays on offense. Um, Anna, like we've talked about, they have that weapon quarterback, Alex Shappy. He just passed 1,000 yards on the season. Running back, Zach Osborne, he's third in individual scoring in Mac, and wide receiver, Noah Offenderhar. He has five touchdowns, 300 plus yards on the season. So both teams have the weapons here. We'll just have to see who manages it better and can play a good defense and offense throughout the game. Yeah, Noah Offenderhar, 20 catches, 312 yards, five TDs. Every fourth time he touches is a touchdown, so definitely a big play guy. Yep. Aaron Shappy, another good receiver for this Anna Rocket team. 18 catches, 254 yards. This should be a fun one. We're ready to go for the kickoff. Got to be aware if you're Anna kicking it deep. This is a dynamic duo back for Delphi St. John's. Pullman averages 35 yards every time he returns one and already has a TD. Should be an interesting approach for Anna, how they deal with the explosive Pullman. Absolutely. About ready to kick it off is Aaron Shappy, the senior, number 14. If you're wondering if the rain affected the turf from last night, walked the field when we got here, 
absolutely fantastic. Not much moisture on it. Should be a nice track. Yeah, we have Aaron Shappy with a kickoff here for Anna. And today's game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Taken at about the 14 uh, right hash to the sideline, to the 31, and he's going to be taken down. Great open field tackle by Zach Osborne. Number 31 gets things going defensively. Big time hit for Anna. Yeah, and that was a great return by Braden Pullman there. He's a one of their star receivers, four receptions, 50 yards on the season. So it'll be interesting to see what they do on their first round of outfit offense here. Yeah, living dangerously kicking into Pullman, but Anna knew what they were doing. Yep. Great stick by Osborne on that special teams. First and 10 for St. John's at the call it just inside the 30 yard line. This is an offense that has about 685 yards rushing on the year. Has struggled on third down at 29% of all third downs. Spread look for Boggs. Motion to the left-hand side. Boggs keep it rolling to his left. He's going to be cut off. Tackle for loss right away. And I think it's a pursuit of Plyman that's going to meet him in the backfield. Yeah, that was a fantastic tackle. We talked about it, Drew Boggs. He's a threat running and passing the ball. So they saw that come in, got right back there, and got him for a loss. And the correction, it was actually Noah Offerdar Dahar. 31 tackles on the year, shot the gap. And second and 12 now for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays check the sideline, change it, and they're going to flip the pressure to the right-hand side, Anna Will. Boggs rolls left. Tight window fits it in there. Almost picked off by Caden Palmisano. He read it quickly. Little, little flood route to the left-hand side. Picks up four. We're looking at third and nine. Uh, area of problems for the Blue Jays so far. Absolutely. Yeah, you mentioned it there. Camden Palmisano, he was a finger's tip length from grabbing that ball. A good idea from St. John's, but Anna's playing, reading the defense pretty well here. A tight end to the right, twins to the left. That is Gagnier in motion. Bog surveys middle of the field behind Gagnier, and it's going to be incomplete. Yep, he was looking for Gagnier there. He was could have got it there in the middle of the field. Pass was a little bit off, but um, unfortunately they weren't be able to pull that one down, and I think St. John's is going to punt here. A three and out for this Anna defense as they bring new personnel in on the, the punt return group. It's going to be Aaron Shappy back deep on the return. A good yeah. start for Anna defensively, exactly what uh, Coach Mariano wanted. Absolutely, and we have Austin Arnold back for the punt for St. John's. He has a two punt 66 yards on the season, so 33 average. We'll see what he does here. Anna comes after it. High end over end a kick, fielded at the 35 by Shappy to the 45, 50, 45, flag down, 40, 35, all the way into the 30-yard line of Delphi St. John's. But I have a feeling, Kelsey, this one might be coming back. Yeah, I think so. But that's what you want for Anna, getting that. At least you have a little bit of confidence knowing that you can pull that out of there. But, yeah, unfortunately, I think this one's coming back. So a little bit of uh, good luck for St. John's here. Uh, this uh, blindside block is going to be call. They're going to call it is on the 45, 15-yard penalty, so it'll be first down Anna at about the 30-yard line. And, boy, what a difference in field of position just because of that uh, blindside block. Oh, yeah, that's huge. I mean, he was on, the other, on their side of the field, really good field of position. Now they're way back on their own 30-yard line. So some work to do for sure. That's a 40-yard field position difference. And a first play of the game offensively. Alex Shappy, the quarterback, twins to his right. Quick throw outside and going to go incomplete. Well covered on that left-hand side by Austin Schaefer. It was well covered. That pass was intended for Noah Oftahar. He uh, was just out of reach, but I like how they're thinking so far. Oftahar, their big play receiver, might as well try to get him the ball. Early Absolutely. and often. Yeah, he's fourth in uh, receiving yards in the MAC, so he's definitely one to watch out for. A pistol set, shotgun look out of Anna. Twins to the right, double back beside 
Shappy to his right. Well, quick toss to the right hand side and it's gonna be caught by Osborne, but he's gonna be run out of bounds by a host of Blue Jays for a tackle for loss. Both teams are struggling on their first possession today. They sure are, yeah, that was uh, Zach Osborne there. He's a really big threat for Anna on the rushing side. St. John's did a great job to get in the backfield and not let him get anywhere. So like you said, yeah, it's a defensive battle so far. A third and long, let's see if uh, St. John's dials up some pressure or is gonna play coverage. As you watch Anna get their call from the sideline, everybody's okay to get their signals here today because Connor Stall Stallions is not in <laughs> attendance. Twins at the right, single receiver to the left, cover two look out of the Blue Jays. Going to be a screen to the left-hand side, 30-35, just inside. If the ball is out, who came up with it or was he down? Officials get in there right away. Quickly call it a lot faster than Virginia Tech and Miami last night. All these college digs here. Come on, Miles. <laughs> Sets up a fourth down recovered by Anna. Fourth and short yep, and decision was, time for Coach Mariano, but it looks like they're going to punt the football. Yep, and that was uh, TJ Roberts on the run there. Thankfully, if the ball came out there, they saw that they kept it for Anna. Got to be alert for a fake. There's the punt by Anna. Alex Shappy, high kick. Boy, had some serious hang time on that one. Fair caught by Kanye Gagne. Yeah, both teams uh, struggling on their first possession of the football game. Defense is dominating early, Kelsey. They are, yeah. And I feel like we have to talk about that punt there from Alex Shappy. That was fantastic. High up in the air, way down the field. He has 10, po 10 punts on the season for 373 yards, which is second most average punt yards in the MAC. So he's one of the best punters in the league, I'd say. You know, I was, after last night's rain, I was a little concerned he kicked it so high that he was going to bring some rain with that oh, punt. Oh, please not. <laughs> I've had enough of that last night. Um, Kelsey <laughs> was toughing it out, folks. She had uh, camera op duty outside in the rain and yeah. showed some toughness, didn't you? Right, yeah, so it's nice to be in the press box today. First and 10, Delphi St. John's on the 21. Boggs sends his receiver in motion. Inside handoff, and oh, it's gonna be a snowed under by a ton of rockets. That's gonna be Landon Hewitt that makes the initial hit. The inside linebacker showed up in a hurry. Yep, and Noah Oftahar was there as well. He has four sacks on the season, 20 tackles, nine for a loss. So the linebackers are looking good for the Rockets so far. That was Riley Mueller that carried out 138 yards on the year. Of course, remember this Delta St. John's offense operating without TJ Wirtz, big number 46, not playing today. Quick screen out to the left-hand side. It's going to be knocked away. Could have been a lateral, but ruled that it went forward. Second time they tried to get Osborne the ball today out of the backfield. 22 catches on the year, so big play threat taken away by Osborne, I should say, that time. Yeah, that was fantastic by Osborne to run up there and get a hand on the ball there. He has so many stats on the season. He has one forced fumble for recovery, two defensive touchdowns, nine tackles. So yeah, he's he's no stranger to grabbing those and running them back to the house. A three downman look on third and long for the Blue Jays, motioning to a four receiver set to the left-hand side. Boggs rolls that way and he's gonna get picked <laughs> off. That's gonna be picked oh, off. He's still working with the football back to the 18 yard line. Aaron Shappy. I don't know how many interceptions he's going to wind up with this year, but he's not going to have one an easier one than that. No. That was thrown right to yeah, him. Yeah, I think that was his first interception of the season, so congrats to him. But, yeah, I think there might have been maybe a little bit of miscommunication there on the route, threw it straight to him. But there's a couple of flags on the field here, so we'll see what the refs have to say. Uh, I think something was said that probably shouldn't have been. Yep. The officials caught it. The crew today, Craig Kramer, Jim Epperly, Cody Rollins, Ben Malk, Brent Rulin, and Brent Robertson. Yep, you were right, Miles, unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, you saw as Shappy was celebrating, threw the football a little bit, and then uh, was uh, kind of directing some comments, and the officials are going to get you every time. Second big penalty in this ball game yep. that has really hurt Anna's cause. Absolutely. But if you talk to Coach Mariano, you say, yeah, I'll be happy having first down and 10 at uh, Delta St. John's uh, 35. Yeah, I think they'll still be happy with that regardless. Let's see if Anna takes a shot here. Cover four, look by St. John. St. John's bringing some pressure. Throw outside, complete. 
the flat screen, and it's going to be a first down to offer Dahar. Shappy gets rid of it quickly, gets it outside to Noah Afterhar, and he's going to pick up that first down. Yeah, and he had some great blocking that allowed him to get a few extra yards on the play there. Now that's a flat screen that everybody likes to run now. Yep. Outside receiver Black blocks the corner and get it to the receiver on the inside side quickly. First down and 10, Anna. A bunch formation to the right-hand side. Going to bring the motion, and it is Osborne on a touch pass from Shappy. He's got the 20, the 10, the 5, and it's pay dirt time for Anna and Osborne. Anna strikes first. Osborne, jet sweep, touch pass, Anna on top. That was really a fantastic play there by Osborne. He ran around the right side there. He saw he had some openings in the field, and, man, he was gone. I knew no one was catching him. So really great job by Osborne there. Great touchdown for Anna. Tremendous blocking on the perimeter, Kelsey. Osborne wasn't even touched. Nope. Just styled and profiled his way into the end zone. Anytime an offense gives you a condensed formation, there's a reason. They want to go outside with it. Great blocking by Anna. Clay Cummins comes on to kick the extra point. Took over the kicking duties not too long ago. Three for three, or two for three, rather. Three for three, three on the year. Three for three, yep. And nice four for four, I think. That's how it works. You make it, it, you, is. it keeps building. <laughs> I can do math, Miles. <laughs> uh, with that, we'll step aside. We'll be back here at Champions Field. Anna on top, 7 nothing over Delta St. John's on WOSN. Welcome back here in Delphus. Anna just scored to go up top 7-0. Nice run by Osborne on the touch pass for a touchdown. Miles Holiday, Kelsey Beimer on hand. Today's game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. This one's going to come just inside the 5 to the 15. Missed tackle to the 25. Flag is going to be down. A great return by Pullman, but he's going to get tackled down about the 28-yard line. Flag down at about the 15. Looks like, Kelsey, this one's coming back. Yep, I think so. We've seen quite a bit of that tonight, but great a tackle by Camden Palmisano there. And based on the last play, I mean, Anna got that interception, turned it around, got a touchdown. I think that's exactly what Anna wants. Well, it's going to be first down and 10 for Delphus uh, inside their own 10. Today's first downs are brought to you by Wapakoneta Ford. Wapakoneta Ford, view our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Well, things go from bad to worse for Delphus St. John's. Give up the touchdown and then have the penalty on the return. Kelsey, no coach likes to start inside their own 10, do they? Absolutely not. And, yeah, I love to talk about mentality when it comes to any sports, really. So it'll be interesting to see what Delphi St. John's comes out here and does. Well, important Boggs gets settled down through his fifth interception a moment ago. Spread formation, and Delphi St. John's didn't like how they set up. They're going to call timeout, come on over to the sideline because they couldn't line up. And you see Coach Schulte. He is not happy with that alignment. Kelsey, at times, coaches will get befuddled at the way kids will line up, won't they? Yeah, for sure. But I, I'm not mad about that call. I think it's smart because you're back in your 10, you're down a touchdown. You want to make some length down the field, first off, to score. But secondly, you don't want to be punting this far back in your end zone if it were to come to that, give Anna a good field position again. So I like the timeout, see how they lined up, figure out what we're going to do to be successful heading down the field here. As long as it's the first half. You can't waste a timeout in the first half, can you? Right. Yeah, you'd rather call a timeout than be first and 15 on your own five-yard line. Great point by you. This is a St. John's team that needs to get some running game going, especially stuck in their own end. Yeah, this is an Anna defense that can create a lot of turnovers, the tackles for losses, fumbles, interceptions, return for touchdowns. So you definitely want to make sure that your game plan set up right and that you can be successful getting down the field here for St. John's. 3-3 yeah, three, three look out of Anna defensively creeping on a blitz. Boggs inside, Hannah pulls it. And he's going to be met quickly in the backfield. 
Nolan Howell first there. Boggs got away from him, but he's going to get snowed under again. Yep. Loss of yardage again as Anna bottles up Boggs. Yeah, they're not able to produce too much on the offensive side here yet for St. John's, but Nolan Howell did a fantastic job. He read that one right out of the way, didn't get faked out, and was able to meet Boggs in the backfield. Zebediah Plyman helped out, also came up from safety. Second down and 11 now. Bringing six inside handoff. First running room of the day for Delphi St. John's, and it's going to be a first down inside handoff. Riley Mueller, big yardage. Yeah, that was fantastic. I have to give a shout out to the O line there. Uh, Josh Mueller, Logan Duncan, Camden Gable, Dylan Hummer, and Austin Arnold. They made a fantastic hole for him to get through and, and get a significant amount of yards. They caught Anna in an inside backer blitz picked up by that offensive line. I'll turn the down box over. First down and 10 now for Delphi St. John's. Boggs sees the blitz again by Osborne. Boggs keeps counter to the right-hand side, and he's going to get snowed under again after a gain of two. That first down was brought to you by Wapakoneta Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Yeah, one of the keys for Anna coach Nick Marino is win the line of scrimmage. I think they're doing a really good job of that. They haven't been able to, outside of that last run play, they really haven't let St. John's develop many, much offense at all. Looks like covered two by Anna on second and long. Delphi St. John's recognizes it, signals in something new. Boggs gets a call and they're ready to go. Corner fire by Anna picked up well by Delphi St. John's. Boggs on the loose, eyes up, throws it upfield. Complete first down to about the 37-yard line. Great job by Boggs moving his feet to extend that play. That was really good. I think he saw Tyler Lindemann there open. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get to him, so he scrambled around the back, went the other way, and was able to find a receiver there. So fantastic job by Drew Boggs there. Uh, another Wapakoneta Ford first down. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. So for the first time today, Kelsey, this Delphi St. John's offense a little bit of rhythm. Definitely, yeah. They're doing good, going down the field a bit. Let's see if they can keep it going, maybe get into some points on. Backer blitz again up the middle. Quite a collision on the under route. And hello, Landon Hewitt says, you're going to come across the middle. Yeah, I'm that, going to introduce myself. That was a really good tackle by Landon Hewitt there. He was wide open in the middle of the field there. I think Boggs ought to off just a little bit late, unfortunately, which allowed the defender to get there. But, um, yeah, they're work, still working positive here for St. John's. Uh, Hewitt absolutely timed it extremely well. Sure he did. Second and ten now. Radar look out of Anna. Nobody in a three-point stance. Overload in the right-hand side. Anna bringing pressure. Boggs gets rid of it, throws it hot, complete. Another first down. This one's going to go to Schaefer. Great job by Boggs picking up the blitz, finding the open receiver in Boggs. Yeah, Riley Mueller did a great job there picking up one of those blocks from the uh, blitz there, and Austin Schaefer was able to grab the ball there get him a first down. Hey, Coach Schulte said uh, picking up the blitz, a big part of what they need to do today. Yep. Check that box off on this drive. Third first down of this drive. Inside handoff. Makes one guy miss as Mueller gets some positive yardage. Gain of about three. And early in this game, run plays were getting one. Now they're starting to expand that. Yeah, they had one there that the line made a gap, and Mueller was able to get a good run there. Now he's starting to pick up a couple more, just like you said. So maybe uh, St. John's is warming up into the game plan a bit. Ball inside the 50 on the 47. Bunch formation to the left of Boggs. Off coverage to the top side. Boggs surveys. Takes off running, and he's going to be chased down by Osborne. But not before he picks up some positive yardage. Just going to be a little bit shy of that first down at about the 41-yard line. Looks like about a third and one coming up. Yeah, just a tad shy there. I like that decision from Drew Boggs. You could see up the field there was a couple people he could have potentially got it to. But if you have a little bit of space in front of you, I say keep the ball, pick a couple up instead of potentially throwing an interception or a, a pass that's not super relevant there. 
Spread look on third and one. Boggs, one of those quarterbacks that when he moves in the pocket, he's still looking to throw. Not always going to take off and run. Inside half. No, taken away. Boggs to the 37, 38. And he's going to have enough for the first down. I'm going to spot it actually at the 39, but it's going to be enough for a first down. That is another Wapakoneta Ford first down. If you are new and pre-owned inventory at WapakonetaFord.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Miles, I love that play call there. I mean, I think most of the defense bit on that they thought Mueller was going down the line with the ball there. But Boggs kept it, was able to get out on the left, and Zebediah Plyman, he had a good tackle there. Another inside backer blitz picked up well. Boggs throws complete. Just out of bounds does Gagne. If he would have had a little bit more real estate, he could have turned up and scored. But Boggs starting to get some rhythm now throwing the football for Delphi St. John's. Absolutely, yeah. When I saw Gagne with that uh, catch there, I thought he was gone. Unfortunately, like you said, he was a little bit too close to the line, wasn't able to keep it in. But this has been a great drive for St. John's, hasn't it? Yeah, don't, let's not forget it started at their own 10-yard line. It did. They're getting a little bit of momentum on their side. Anna staying with that 3-3 three, three down look, bringing a different backer blitz, safety and backer this time on the blitz. Boggs keeps, quarterback sweep to the right. Picks up some creative blocking on the outside. Gonna be about a gain of four. Officials saw the block on the outside, said it was inside the frame. Seen sometimes that called as a hold. Creative blocking is allowed here at Delta St. John's. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering if there was a hold there on the line, but Anna did a really good job with that play. They knew it was coming. They swallowed him up in the backfield, and he was able to get a couple yards out of it, thankfully. But, yeah, they did a really good job, that Anna defense there. Second and five. Tight end to the left-hand side. Twins to the right with a slot. Boggs tosses it back. And, oh, big-time hit, but he spins away. Mueller. Bounces it out, but st still can't get positive yardage as a ton of Anna Rockets are there to meet him. Clay Cummins, the guy that gets him to the ground. How impressive was that by Riley Mueller, though? Ran straight into a guy. He's like, nope, I'm going to keep going. Spin out of it, kept going. And he probably could have got some more yards. Unfortunately, they still got him in the backfield. But you just love to see that effort by one of these, by some of these kids out there. Yeah, you always want a running back that it takes more than one guy to bring him down yep. to the ground, and that's Riley Mueller. A uh, third down and five. Got to believe this is four down territory yep. for Adelphi St. John's. Tight end trips to the left. Boggs calls it quarterback. Sweep to the left-hand side. Nice cut by Boggs, but he's going to be tackled by Noah Oftahar. Short of the stick, and it's going to be a body. Fourth down, and let's call it three. Yep, I think that's right there, Miles, and it'll be interesting to see what they do. Like you said, I think we're in fourth down territory here. I don't have any stats down for uh, field goal kicking outside of extra points, so I think this is one they go for. Yeah, Coach Seth Schulte stays with the call here, keeps the offense on the field. Going to go trips to the right-hand side. Watch the cadence. Inside of 10 on the play clock, and we're going to get a timeout as Boggs looks back to the official and says, let's talk things over, Coach. And I think that's smart too, just like the other one. It worked for him on that side of, or on the other side of the field. Let's do it again here. Let's try. Let's put some points on the board. Get a good game plan going. Well, when we come back, it'll be a big fourth down and three for Delphi St. John's. Uh, you're watching high school football here on WOSN. Back on a beautiful day here at Champions Field in Delphi, Ohio. Big fourth down and three after the timeout for Delphi St. John's. Coming out in a spread look. Empty. Boggs, big time player, big time moment in this football game. Tries to draw Anna offside. Checking to play on the sideline. Motion by Gagne. Boggs gets it, rolls to the right. And he's going to be met in the backfield. A big time defensive stick by Landon Hewitt, who had a huge hit in the middle of the field a moment ago, delivers another big play for this Anna defense. Yeah, Anna did a really good job there. They knew that there was a pass and a rush threat by Drew Boggs there. So scrambled a little bit, couldn't find anyone down the field. And they made sure to find him in the backfield. Landon Hewitt was there. We've been saying his name quite a few times tonight. So 
good job by the Anna defense there. Best drive of the day so far for Delphi St. John's results in zero points on the big fourth down stop by the Anna Rockets. First down and 10 now for Anna at about the 23. Shappy motion, touch pass to Osborne. Same play that they scored on a moment ago. Osborne, more positive yardage. Like the idea by Nick Marino. Said, you know what, this was a play that worked for us a moment ago, let's come back to it, run it until they stop it. Positive yardage again for the Anna Rockets. Absolutely, if it isn't broke, don't fix it, right, Miles? It's amazing how many coaches forget about that one. You circle a play on your play card and you, you go, oh, why didn't I call that one again? It right. happens. But not Nick Mariano. He said, let's come back to it. Flip the formation to the left-hand side now on second down and three. Flat screen to the left-hand side. This one's complete to Roberts. Roberts to the 45, to 50. He's going to be knocked out of bounds by Gagne at the 45. Anna picking up where they left off on their last drive. Chunks of yardage, back-to-back -back plays. Yeah, Trent and Robert say they had a really good job. The Anna offense did a good job of a little fake out of there. They were able to get it out to TJ Roberts, and he made it a good way down the field there. So thankfully, like you said, Gagne was there for the tackle, or else I think he could have been gone. Both coaches, or both quarterbacks, rather, uh, kind of magicians with the inside fakes, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They've both been really good tonight. Bunch look to the right-hand side for Anna. A deuce look. Allows him to bring the motion by Osborne inside handoff, and this is Roberts who drops the football. And things are going your way when you fumble the football and one of your linemen comes up and get it. That's Nolan Howell, the center, who dove on it. Yeah, that would have been big for the Blue Jays if they were able to pick that one up because Anna's driving down the field would have been a good momentum switch there. Unfortunately, they weren't able to, and Anna gets a second chance here. Delphi St. John's needs a play defensively. Going to be inside of 10 seconds of the first quarter. Let's see if Anna elects to go ahead and snap it for the end of the quarter. I think they are. Quarterback draw. It's going to be met by the defensive line for Delphi St. John's. Let's give it to Howerston. Number 74, Jackson with the tackle, came in with 20 tackles on the year. Big one right there. We're going to step aside to end of the first quarter. Anna on top, 7-0. When we return, it's going to be a big third down for the Rockets. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Kelsey Beimer, Miles Holiday on hand here at Champions Field. Uh, Anna on top, 7-0. Today's game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe, where home style happens here. Third and five for Anna inside the 40-yard line. Two back set next to Shappy. Inside handoff to Osborne. He's testing the right hand side, stumbles, but he's going to fall forward for a couple extra yards. Kelsey, it was like he stepped into some Lee's famous recipe mashed potatoes there it was. above the 40 yard line. Yeah, it looked like he had a little bit of space there. Unfortunately, the turf monster got him there a little bit. He fought, got a couple extra yards out of it, so we'll give him that at least. A fourth down just inside the 40 yard line, no doubt about it. And going to at least appear that they're going to go for it on fourth down. I would think so at this spot in the field, right, Miles? I don't know. It was an impressive last drive by Delphi St. John's. I think my, I might kick it deep. Inside, the handoff taken out of by Osborne, but he's going to be stopped short of the first down. Shappy looked at him like, you weren't supposed to take the football from my hand. <laughs> Little RPO action right there. I think Shappy, he's going over to the sideline and said, I was going to throw it outside. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication there. He almost got it nonetheless. But yeah, like you said, they're giving St. John's a pretty good field position here. And they, they ran it down the field last time. So yeah, maybe like you said, the punt down the field would have been a little bit better option. But hindsight's always 20-20. Well, credit that Delphi St. John's defense is stiffening up when they need to. Yep. Getting the big fourth down stop. Best drive they had offensively a moment ago on their last possession. Now with good starting field position at the 36. 
Yeah. Uh, still leads us 7 nothing with 11-12 just inside the start of the second quarter. Boggs complete inside on a little hookup. That's going to be Alex Martz who goes to the spot of the backer blitz. That's a way to beat the blitz, Kelsey. The backers vacate that area. Just turn and look for the throw. Absolutely. Landon Hewitt did a great job there on the tackle. They lost two possessions by both teams were turnovers on down. So let's see if St. John's can drive it down the field here again, maybe get some points up on the board. I mean, this is still anyone's game. And Boggs uh, fixing the formation, moves Schaefer in closer. Anna stunts, blitzes, toss back to Mueller. Mueller grinds. Maybe a gain of a half yard, if not back to the line of scrimmage as that man, Noah Haftahar, shows up again. These linebackers for Anna Kelsey, they are absolutely very active and good tacklers. They're fantastic. Yeah, looking at my sheet here, I just have tons of stats written down for them throughout the season. So they are doing a great job getting back there and doing good for their defense. Another big third down for Delphi St. John's. 29% conversion rate this year. Throws it outside, and this one's going to hit the turf. Tried to run a quick hitch. Tries to go to Pullman outside, but this one's going to skip. And it looks like punting situation for Delphi St. John's. Yep, intended for Braden Pullman there. Fortunately, he wasn't able to get to it. That was a pretty hard pass on the outside of the field. He had a defender right on him, too. So Anna did a good job stopping him three and out, going to get the ball back here. I wonder if we'll see the hitch and then go a little bit later. He set up the hitch a couple times, get that corner to bite. Yep, we have Aaron Chappie back to receive for Anna here. Anna at least gives the look as if they're going to overload this left-hand side and come after the punt. Ball Almost. is away. Not a great kick, a little bit short. And it's going to take a roll for Anna. And it's going to be picked up about the 39-yard line by Caden, Camden C Gable for Delphi St. John's. Yeah, like you mentioned, they might have been going for the uh, block there. One of the defenders got pretty close there. Unfortunately, I didn't get his number, but they were close. First down and 10 at the 39 for Anna. That's an Anna team that it, it looks like, it feels like at times they're going to score and then something bad happens. Yep. Shappy, I formation to his left-hand side. Osborne in motion. Throws it out. Gagne comes up and makes a tackle. Tremendous open field tackle by number nine for Delphi St. John's. Yeah, and I like that play there. Throw it out, get a little bit of space on the side, see if you can pull anything off of it. I mean, regardless, getting the ball from your quarterback to your running back or one of the receivers, I think is a positive momentum swing. So I like that play call there. Got a couple yards out of it. So. Well, it's something they love to do to get Osborne. It's basically a long toss sweep. Yep. And 22 catches out of the backfield this year. And you know who really loves it? That's Alex Shappy because he gets a passing yardage, and oh, that's yeah. an easy throw. Absolutely. Osborne in motion again. Here comes the blitz by Delphi St. John's, and they called it right. Great tackle on the blitz. Alex Martz beats the offensive line and gets it in the backfield. Called a tackle for loss, minus one on the play. Yeah, and that was Aaron Chappie on the carry there. Carry there. He has 11 rushes, 109 yards on the season, and one touchdown. So he's really a threat at the uh, running back and wide receiver position for Anna. This Delphi St. John's defense stiffened up on the last drive on a big fourth down. Let's see if they can get off the field here on third and seven. Twin receivers to the right hand side, tight end to the left, double backs. And Shappy looks, throws, complete outside. That's up to Hauer. He's to the 35. Down inside the 33, and I believe it's Schaefer that held on to the ankle to get him to the ground. But how about the throw by Alex Shappy? Absolute laser. That was fantastic. Yeah, I have to give a shout out to the Anna O line, too. They gave him so much time back there to find a receiver down the field. Braden Pullman almost was able to break up that pass there. They got a lucky bounce, and Anna was able to pull it in. A big splash play for the Rockets. Get some first down inside Adelpha St. John's 35 yard line. I formation to the left of Shappy. Inside handoff to Osborne. Nice cut. Inside to the 30 to the 25, 26 yard line. Yeah, like you said, that was, that was a fantastic cut by him. 
able to grab a couple more yards there. I mean, Zach Osborne, he's a fantastic uh, running back for for the team here. He's tied fifth in Mac for rushing yards and is third in Mac in individual scoring. So he's definitely threatened someone that St. John's is going to want to keep an eye on. 4.7 yards per carry every time he touches it via the run. Trip to the left now for Shappy. Another handoff to Osborne. He's going to be met in the backfield. And how about the work by Riley Mueller to fly up and meet what a running back on running back crime right there. Yeah, that was a fantastic effort by Riley Mueller there. He had him in the backfield. He escaped it, but nope, he wasn't giving up after that. He chased after him and got him down. So that was a really great effort by Riley Mueller there. Big third down conversion a moment ago on this drive by Anna. They face another third down, this time third and five at about the 27-yard line. Safeties are up tight for Delphi St. John's. If Shappy wants to try it, he can. Reverse to the left-hand side, cuts inside, enough for the first down, and that's going to be Aaron Shappy. Great call, great design, great execution. Anna with another first down. Yeah, I like that play call there. Reverse, get the defense going one way, we're going to go the other and they were able to get what they needed for the first down there. Another Wapakoneta Ford first down. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Shappy takes a look to his left-hand side, tried to go vertical. Now he is trying to escape the pocket. Shappy tucks it under. Get some uh, positive yardage, or at least back to the line of scrimmage. Might have given it a gain of one. Good coverage by the secondary of Delphi St. John's as Shappy was looking to go vertical. Yeah, the line for St. John's did a good job getting into the backfield, too. Didn't give Shappy too many options there. I think he made the right decision, though. Don't make any throws that aren't for, uh, for sure completion there, or at least a high percentage of being one, so keep the ball there. I mean, he's a good run, run threat as well. He has three touchdowns on the season running, so... Good job by Alex Shappy there. A nice job by Shappy, keeping his eyes up. Bringing a new tight end into the game for Anna. Eye formation to the right-hand side. Shappy pulls nobody out there. Shappy to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Dies for the pylon. They're going to say he is down inside the two-yard line. Kelsey Beimer, we called him a magician earlier today. How about that ball fake? That was fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're having a lot of success with these, getting the defense going one way, we're going to go the other way. Fantastic uh, block out there by Aaron Chappie, and he was able to get pretty close to the goal line there. Chappie gets up kind of wiggling his right hand. Yes. When he reached out for that pylon, wonder if his hand hit the ground hard. He's, he's moving his fingers, making sure he's got some functioning with those fingers. Don't be surprised if this is a run because of it. Yep. A little sugar huddle and go by Anna, and they're going to call timeout because they didn't like where the play clock was at inside of five seconds. Timeout, Anna. The first of the half. Nick Marino calls timeout, bring his Rockets over because this is a big drive. Anna still on top, 7-0, but they are knocking at the doorstep here on WOSN. Kelsey Beimer, Miles Holiday here on hand for WOSN. Heck of a football game this afternoon. This game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken for home style happens. Anna, ready to punch this one in. First down and goal at the two-yard line. Split backs beside Chappie. Chappie inside, handoff. Osborne turns, whirls. Grinds, Pater time for Anna. Rockets, blast off, another big score. Osborne's second touchdown. I like that, Rockets, blast off. Yeah, that was really good. And that was a, a big play of the game for uh, Anna to get their second score there. To go up two scores, that's big. So we'll see, there's 5.52 left in the half here. Let's see if St. John's can drive down the field and get some more points up on the board because Anna gets the ball going after halftime as well. So that's something to think about. Yeah, two score lead, huge. Kind of put a lot of pressure on Delphi St. John's to do something with the football. And Clay Cummins, who Kelsey told us correctly, is four for four on the year yep. on the extra point here. 
Yeah, and that was all the board. Second touchdown on the day to mention as well. And showed some really good determination sure on that did. run. The kick is up and it's away. I think that and, one's uh, just left. The announcer jinx shows up big time. We were just talking about the perfect four for four. Clay Cummins, sorry my man, four for five now. But if that's the worst thing that happens today for Anna, things are gonna be okay as yeah. they lead this one 13 nothing. It'll be Delta St. John's football when we return. Welcome back as Anna just put another one on the board. 13-0 Rockets over Delta St. John's. Today's game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Kelsey, favorite thing that you order at Lee's? Oh gosh, I think I'm just have to go with the chicken tenders, the macaroni and potato wedges on the side, Dr. There, Pepper. There is no such thing as a bad item at Lee's. Plyman, correction, that is Pullman to the left-hand side. Gets across the 30-yard line where he is going to be tackled. And so far, Anna has handled Pullman extremely well, a guy that's averaged 35 yards of return with a TD. They have limited that part of this game. Absolutely, yeah. Pullman, he's the top kickoff returner in the MAC. He's the only one with a touchdown, by the way. So they've done a really good job keeping him at bay. 5.46 left here in the first half. And you get the feeling, Kelsey, both these teams need this game big time for their playoff hopes. This has got to be the best drive of the year for Delta St. John's. Absolutely, yeah. This will be big for St. John's to get some points on the board. Like you said, two teams pretty evenly matched up here in the MAC. It will be a big win for whoever is able to pull this one out. Trips bunch formation to the right-hand side of Boggs. Mueller behind him. Inside handoff. Correction, that is not Mueller. Is that Nick Gagne, That's I believe? It's going to be Nick Gagne that has the football. The freshman carries it for positive yards gain of two. Yep, 11 rushes, nine on the yard. I like how up in the press box here they refer to him as Little Gagne. Little Gagne. <laughs> He's going to be a good one. Do you like his feet? Oh, sure, of course. Got some quickness. Traditional trips to the right-hand side of the quarterback box. Tries his hands. Oh. And somebody moved. Now, if you're on the offense, you're going to say it was the defensive line. Right. If you're on the defense, you're going to say it was the offensive line. Officials are going to say false start, though. Yeah, I saw Julian Stearns there for Anna, but someone on St. John's line must have made a little movement there to trigger him. Yeah, we've got our tough packages. Well, makes it a little more difficult for Delphi St. John's second down and 14 now. Boggs with the set. Good protection, throws underneath, complete to Schaefer on the under route. It's going to get that penalty yardage back and set up a third down and about nine. I like that. Let's just get a little safe pass over the middle there, get a couple yards, getting the ball in someone's hands. Always going to be a positive thought in the quarterback's mind. So I like the play call, but it still leaves them with quite a bit on third and nine here. Anna's dialed up pressure a majority of the afternoon, going back to that radar set when nobody is in a three-point stance. Are they going to bail out of it or bring pressure? Boggs beat him with it earlier with his throw. Let's see if he's ready for it again. They bail out this time. Boggs against a four-man look. Throws over to the left-hand sideline. Going to be incomplete trying to hit Gagne, but it's going to be out of bounds. Boggs slow to get up. Yeah, Noah off, off their heart. He was flying in the backfield to get to him. Got to him just as he released the ball. So, yeah, I'm not surprised he was a little shaken up getting there. Well, bad news, not only do you have to punt, but you also give the ball back to a red-hot Anna offense with 420 left in the half. Absolutely, yeah. They, unfortunately, they weren't able to drive it too much. Definitely not in a place on the field to be able to go for it on fourth down. I think you'd be smart here, punt it away. Anna with 10 men up at the line of scrimmage. Aaron Chappy back to return. Punt is going to be short, but take a Delphi St. John's bounce at about the 48 and rolls all the way inside the 40. 
So a disastrous first look, but it got the roll. It's going to be a pretty good net for Delphi St. John's. It sure did. Yeah, that ball was kicked high, looked like it was going left. Thought they were going to get pretty good field position, but they got lucky with the bounce, was able to get about 11 more to give Anna starting on their 44-yard line. With 4.08 left in the half, and you're Anna, and you still have two timeouts, how aggressive are you in this juncture of the football game, Kelsey? Oh, I'm... Oh, that's a hard one. I'd see see what you get on the first couple of plays there, and I apologize, they're on the 39, not their 44, but. A quick little hitch, it's gonna go off the hands of Noah Oftahar. Nice timing by the quarterback, Shappy. Yeah, now after that, you're stopping the clock, you have four minutes left. That's hard, because you really don't want to give St. John's another opportunity to drive down the field. They've shown that they could do it earlier in the game. So I don't know, I'd maybe run. Get some clock running here, but I don't know. We'll see what the Anna coach decides here. And number 51, Austin Arnold uh, checks out of the game, labored off the field for Delphi St. John's. Let's see if we get him back in soon. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, motion, jet sweep to the left-hand side. Really good block on the outside perimeter, but it's going to get snowed under. How about the big fella, Jackson Horston, number 74 with the splash to get him to the ground. Yeah, that was great. And Riley Mueller as well also in on that tackle there. Well, good defensive coordinators fired up. You see your interior defensive lineman run to the football from sideline to sideline? That's defensive football right oh, there. Yeah. That was a great job by St. John's there. And both teams trying to figure out how to work this clock now. Third and 12 for Anna. St. John's bringing pressure. Chappie looks, vertical throw on the post, he's got him! Oh. Just a little bit too far as he had Aaron Chappie on the, the right hash. And Bob Greasy, one of the all-time great set quarterback, always says you cannot throw the post too far inside. And well, I think, Bob, you might be wrong on that one because Chappie almost was able to get there, but it's thrown a little bit too far. Yeah, just a little bit too long there. If it would have been more on target, Chappie was in the end zone there. Had beaten everybody by about four yards. Would have been a touchdown for Anna. They'll come back to that post at some point in time, but good news for Delphi St. John's. It sets up a punt, and they look like they're going to try to come after this one. Uh, they are indeed. Oh, almost get almost. to it as Mueller almost got it. Return by Gagne out to the 40-yard line. And Mueller almost got a piece of that punt. Oh, they were so close on that, and that would have been huge for them. But still, they're going to get decent field position here. Like I said earlier, they've shown they can drive down the field. Camden Palmisano, great job with the tackle there for Anna. A 3-10 left in the half. Ball just inside the 40 for Delphi St. John's. First down to 10. They do have one timeout left. They still have everything on their play sheet at their disposal with 3-10 left. And don't forget, Boggs did throw an interception earlier in this half. Twins to the right, motion by Schaefer. Boggs, quarterback sweep to the left-hand side, picks up a block by Mueller. Positive yardage. Uh, Boggs, however, slow to get up, grabbing uh -oh. that right part of his leg. Officials are going to whistle it dead as the Delphi St. John's medical staff going to come out and take a look at him. Oh, no. Looks like he's in some pain out there. That would be huge for St. John's. I hope he's okay. Yeah, Boggs down on the ground, and, and uh, hopefully he's going to get back in this uh, football game. While they work on Boggs, we'll step aside with Anna on top, 13-0 here at Champions Field. Welcome back to Champions Field where Delphi St. John's is watching their senior quarterback, Drew Boggs, come off the field. The good news is, Kelsey, that he is up and walking off the field. He is very gingerly, we'll say, but it is good to see that he is walking. And hopefully it's nothing too serious. Yeah. We saw on the sideline there, number four, Tyler Lindemann, looked like he was getting ready to take some snaps and warm it up. Yeah, Lindemann's going to be the guy that comes in for Boggs. You'll probably see Boggs out the rest of this half, reevaluate him at halftime. 
Today's game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. So Tyler Lindeman, the uh, senior, 5'9", 170 pounds, takes over. Pistol formation. Handoff to Mueller. Works the right hand side. Nice cut by Mueller. First down, Mueller. Picks his way for a Delphus St. John's first down. Brought to you by Wapakoneta Ford. View our new and free owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Really good cut there by Mueller. Um, and there's still two and a half minutes here. Clock's running a bit, but I think that's plenty of time here for St. John's to make their way up the field. Nick Gagne checks in in the backfield as Mueller hobbled off in between plays as well. And we're going to get a timeout. St. John's, it looks like, right? Yeah, and that's St. their John's last Todd one. Schulte calls the timeout. You can see the frustration when he put the open palms up to the air, like, guys, what are we doing? Right, because yeah, that's their last timeout of the half. So that complicates things a little bit for them. Only 2.20 left. You would definitely like to have those timeouts as we're driving down the field in this moment. Now with uh, 2.21 left, Anna on top, 13 nothing. St. John's, though, moving to football. We'll be back here on WOSF. Delta St. John's coming off a timeout here with 2.21 left in the first half, trailing 13 nothing. Miles Holiday, Kelsey Beimer on hand. And I think it's a luau night here, or luau afternoon, I as the cheerleaders are wearing Hawaiian skirts. Kelsey, did you know that? And is that why you wore the same thing? <laughs> well, our listeners at home aren't going to be able to see, but I am not wearing one of those. But I, I think you're right. It is luau night for St. John's. First and 10 inside handoff. Gagne with some speed around that left-hand side. He's going to pick up a first down, but some uh, naughty laundry on the field, and it looks like it's going to be called back. There sure is, and that's unfortunate because the St. John's is really getting their running game going. That's exactly what they need right now. Oh, how about that? One brother with a great run. Another brother gets called for the penalty. Some Gagne and Gagne crime. You're going to get your <laughs> call back as creative blocking is called against Kanye Gagne. And you're going to get your run of the mill first and nine because of it. Tyler Lindemann calls the cadence, and they are resetting the play clock. Uh, the white hat official finally gets the play clock rolling, and we're set to go. Inside handoff. Gagne tries to bounce it, and he is going to be met in an angry way by Keith Homan. There are corners, Kelsey, that will just play pass, and there are corners that will fly up and play run, and Keith Homan. He will play to run. Yeah, that was a great tackle by Keith Homan there. Like you said, he flew up, got the tackle there. Because Nick Gagne, he's been having good success with the run here so far. So good job to stop them in the backfield by Anna. Second and 13, 140 on the clock. Anna does have their two timeouts in their hip pocket, but content to let the clock roll with the lead. Delphi St. John's out of timeouts. Surveying the field, that's Lindemann, and he's going to step out of bounds. Yeah, they were trying to throw the screen. No one helped. They were going to throw a screen out to the left-hand side, but Anna played it as about as well as he could. Yeah, absolutely. You could see Lindemann looking out to the left there. That's definitely where he wanted to go. Did a good job, didn't make the pass when one wasn't there, rolled out to the right, and was at least able to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Third and 11 from the 47. If you are Delta St. John's, run the football here. Get Anna to either call a timeout or let the clock run. Don't throw it. Risk a chance of the clock stopping because of it. Oh, that's a hard decision with no timeouts left. A minute 18 left. Let's see what coach decides to do here. Going to be a run. Design run. Quarterback sweep. He's got the 40, the 35. Some naughty laundry again on the field after a scamper. 
by Tyler Lindemann. Man, that's really unfortunate there. It seems like every time they get up the field, unfortunately, the yellow flag comes out and it gets called back. This one is indeed coming back, and Todd Schulte, he is out to the numbers, wants to know why. It didn't even impact the play. It was away from the cut as Lindemann was streaking towards the right-hand sideline. Would have been a first down and momentum for Delphi St. John's, but instead it's going to be third down and 14. Absolutely. We have a minute 10 left here. See if St. John's can get another play here, drive it up the field a bit. Because to get points on the board at the end of halftime would be huge for them. Third and 14. Lindemann gets the signal. And you want to have a good time. Watch some of these Delphi St. John's <laughs> offensive coordinators signal in the signs. Lindemann rolls to his right-hand side. And we're going to have a flag down for an illegal formation. As Lindemann is snowed under by Noah Oftahar. Yeah, Anna had that one under lock anyways. There's multiple of them in the backfield there ready to take that one down. Illegal fifth on the offense, two men in motion. Penalty fine, fourth down. So that was set up fourth down, 104. Anna will have some time to play with. Anna calls the timeout right here to stop the clock because when he set the football, it was going to start running the clock. Smart timeout by Anna. So Kelsey Beimer, let's put the co coaching hat on. Yeah. yeah. You're Anna. You got a 13-point lead. Yep. You'll have one timeout left with 104. How aggressive to try to put points on the board here? I'd be aggressive, but not overly aggressive. We don't want to make any decisions that are going to result in a turnover and a quick points on the board for St. John. So I'd say, yeah, we're going to try a couple down the field here, but we're not going to make any passes that if there's even any question there, I stay away from it if I'm Anna. Anna wants to put one on the scoreboard, the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where homestyle happens here. Anna with nine up on the line of scrimmage, overloading this left-hand side. Punt is away, and it is a short one. Fair catch call by Shappy, and he's going to make it about the 28-yard line. Yeah, I like that call there. Fair catch there, give him decent field position. Just under a minute left, 50 seconds, 57 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, I think if I'm coach, I take a shot down the field. What, what would you do, Miles? Uh, you, you run the football on first down, see how you do. If you feel good after that first run and you got positive yardage, then we, we go. I like that. Don't want to do anything silly and turn the ball over or maybe give a defense a score up. Right. First and 10, 28 yard line, one time out left. Osborne way to the right, overloaded four receivers set to the left hand, or right hand side. A quick throw outside to Osborne. Picks out a oh, tremendous block by Roberts. Jeez, Osborne past midfield to about the 47-yard line of Delphi St. John's. Tremendous block by Trenton Roberts to get Zach Osborne free. And Anna going to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. 44 seconds left. Chappy looks. Throws vertical. He's got his man off to Haar, who jumps. And it's going to be batted away. And the flag comes out. The people here in Delphus don't like the call as they think it was great coverage by Drake Fitro, number 22. And this is where you're thankful it's not a spot of the foul call. Right. Yeah, that was the crowd's not too happy about that one. I would like to see a replay on that one. Did you get a look at it, Miles? What do you think on that call? Uh, I think that's the one that you let them play. Yeah. I thought uh, pretty good coverage right there, but you love the fact that Shappy. Good coverage. I'm going to trust my big-time receiver to go up and make a play. Absolutely. First down and 10 now for Anna. Chappie, quick throw outside. This ball's batted away. Ooh. And you are holding your breath if you're in a white jersey when you saw that ball 
batted in the air because a gray jersey could get underneath that and run that back for a touchdown. Yeah, if I'm Anna, I'm keeping an eye out for Logan Duncan because he got his hand on it there. A couple plays back, he about read it, and that could have been a pick six back to the house. So keep an eye out for Logan Duncan. He's seeing what they're doing. He's getting into the backfield pretty easily. Duncan, who has half the sacks for this Delphi St. John's team this year. One, they have two. It's been a problem for Delphi St. John's getting to the quarterback this year. Bringing backer Blitz to pick it up. Chappie rolls to his right, throws this one away. Almost hit one of the megaphones over there with the Anna cheerleaders. Yeah, and that was smart by Chappie there because Josh Mueller was running him down in the backfield. Just get rid of the ball there. Don't do anything that might get into a bad position. 26 seconds left on the clock here. See if St. John's can keep a hold. Anna had vertical routes, but the secondary for itself is St. John's ready for it. Cover four look, kept everything in front. Third and 10 now, 26 seconds left in the half. Still that one time out for Anna. Osborne in motion, fake to the right. Screen back to the right. Fake to the left, back to the right. And this one is well developed. Trent Roberts. Oh, what a call. Nick Marino. Great call by him and his offensive staff over at Anna. How many times have we seen him use that motion to the left-hand side by Osborne, throw it out to him? Oh, it's so good, and it's working for him. Yeah, fake it out to Zach Osborne there, throw it over to Trenton Roberts, and he's driving up the field here. So 16 seconds left. We're on the eight-yard line. It would be big if Anna could get some points on the board here. We're going to bring in a new tight end for Anna. We don't have an 85 on the roster. Bunch to the left. Chappie looks to the left. Screen, a quick throw out to the flat, and it's gonna be Osborne. Osborne styles and profiles his way in for another touchdown. Great last minute execution by Anna to steal a touchdown right before half. Osborne, big time again. That was great clock management there by the Anna coaching staff. They got a pass interference call there, which was able to get them down the field, and they converted. And like I said, that was huge. They're going to be a, a three-score deficit here for St. John's coming out after the half, and Anna gets the ball going into it. So that was big for Anna there. Used Osborne as a decoy on the screen back to Roberts. At that time, it hit Osborne in the flat for an easy touchdown. And not going to say anything about Clay Cummins kicking because we jinxed him last time, but Clay Cummins there puts it go. through. It worked, yeah, and that's Osborne's third touchdown on the day, so he's feeling it today, that's for sure. Osborne having himself a heck of a day here for Anna. Anna leads us one 20 to nothing over Delphus St. John's. Uh, you're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Champions Field. Uh, Kelsey Beimer, Miles Holiday on hand. And Anna just put one on that Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampog, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. How impressive was that last minute drive by Anna? Oh, it was so impressive. They only had limited time there. They called good plays, got it down the field, and came off with uh, some points there. Not going to let uh, Pullman run this one back. Puts it on the ground. The clock will tick down to about four seconds. Yeah, it was Austin run. Schaefer on the return there. It looks like, unfortunately, there's a Blue Jay that's hurt on the field there. It gets it out to about the 43-yard line. and Is that Logan Duncan? That would be huge if that's him. Yeah, I believe that is number 50, oh, Logan Duncan. That is down as he is grimacing. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be just a cramp. While the staff of Delphi St. John's takes a look at Logan Duncan, we'll step aside here. Anna on top, 20 nothing here at Champions Field. That is a Logan Duncan that is being helped off the field for Delphi St. John's. Uh, second big injury in this first half for Delphi St. John's as they lost their quarterback, Drew Boggs, as well. Miles Holiday, Kelsey Beimer on hand here from a Champions Field. 
Looks like Delphi St. John's going to try something with Lindemann at quarterback. Down 20 to nothing. Four seconds left. Anna going to drop five guys back deep, and Lindemann is just going to take a knee, and that's going to take us to halftime. Kelsey, this first half, very impressive for Anna. Yeah, absolutely. And it's unfortunate because St. John's has had some good runs of their own, unfortunately. Just things didn't go their way. Has led Anna to get a 20 lead at the half here. And it will be interesting to see how St. John's comes back here in the second half, see what adjustments they make for this Anna offense. We're heading towards half with Anna on top of St. John's, 20 to nothing here on WOSN. Halftime here in Adelphus, Ohio on a nice Saturday afternoon. A little bit more nice for Anna as they're on top 20 nothing over Adelphus St. John's here at Champions Field. Kelsey Beimer, Miles Holiday here on hand. Been a fantastic first half of football. A lot of questions still need to be answered by Delphi St. John's. Kelsey, how do they get back in this one? Yeah, well, I think they've shown that they can drive it down the field. I think. If they can get a better hold on penalties, that will stop bringing them back so much. That would be huge. But I have a couple stats here. Uh, St. John's has punted it four times, where Anna has only twice. So, like I said, a lot of those had come from penalties that took them way back into their or long yardage. But yeah, that would be one thing to look out for sure. A couple of nice drives uh, were knocked away because of holding penalties in that uh, first half by Delphi St. John's. It'll be interesting to see what goes on with the quarterback position uh, for Delphi St. John's. Will Boggs be able to bounce back, left the game with an ankle injury? It was Lindemann that took over. Um, they are all, all already missing T.J. Wirtz today. So Wirtz out and Boggs being out, that's going to be a tough road to hoe for this Delphi St. John's offense. Yeah, that'll be huge. And that's another thing for the Delphi St. John's. If you're losing out on your starting quarterback, they already had one turnover that led to an Anna touchdown. Three on the day for Zach Osborne. So I think that's the big thing for St. John's in the second half. Just be, play a cleaner game. Watch out for those turnovers, penalties. And I, they've, like I said, they've shown they can drive the ball down the field. I think it'll be important for them to come out and do that early. Now on the other side, if you're Nick Mar Marino, the head football coach for Anna, uh, you're up 20 to nothing. You go into half. Uh, not a lot to chew on the guys about, are there? No, absolutely not. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy if I'm uh, in a coach here. Like I said, three touchdowns on the day, all Zach Osborne. And earlier I mentioned that he was a third in MAC in individual scoring, and he has to be probably pushing up toward the top there. So, yeah. Um, also, Anna's done a good job in defense, forcing those four punts there. Had a couple penalties go their way that's helped them. But, yeah, if I'm uh, Nick Marino, I'm happy going into uh, – the locker room at halftime. Uh, very important that uh, Anna plays a good second half and gets the victory here because Kelsey Versailles next week on the road and then Marion Local at home uh, awaits this Anna football team. So you got to get a win here today, especially when you're up 20 to nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and looking back at the history for these two teams, I mean, St. John's is two and three, Anna's three and two. But when you look at the losses that they have come from, they're, they're playing hard teams, so St. John's lost to LCC week two for sales week three, Marion Local week four. Those are all powerhouse teams. And looking on the Anna side, week three, Minster they lost to, and Coldwater. Those are all fantastic teams that are going to be hard to beat. So records might be a little bit um, showing that, but like you said, it will be important for uh, who gets the win today. It doesn't get easier for Delphi St. John's as next week. Uh, the undefeated Coldwater Cavaliers come to town, and then they'll be going to uh, St. Henry after that. Um, we're going to have your opening second half kickoff here when we return on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. Anna's going to get the football first here in the second half. A little bit of uh, news that we need to pass on. Word of the quarterback, Drew Boggs, for Adelphi St. John's. What do you see there, Kelsey? Well, we saw him pull up on a golf cart there, and he's currently on the sideline in crutches. So that's a huge blow for St. John's there. Uh, he is uh, in crutches, and Logan Duncan, number 50, uh, he does not have his shoulder pads on either. It looks like neither one of those two are going to return to this football game. So 
a tough 20 nothing deficit, also tough to overcome without some of your best players. Opening kick of the second half is down to the 20-yard line, taken to the 30, to the 35. Gets out of one tackle until he's going to be brought down. That is Shappy, Alex Shappy, out to the 35-yard line. Yeah, look at that footwork there by Aaron Shappy. He was trying to get his way through. I thought he might for a second, but good job by the St. John's defense getting him wrapped up there. And this will be big, St. John's. If they can come out and get a quick 3 and know, that would be huge for their momentum. Definitely can't let Anna go advance up the field here and put more points on the board. Well, tremendous feat because homecoming dances around the area are going on. So True. you want to make sure you have your fancy feet going on. First and 10, Anna on their own 35. Offset eye formation. That is Osborne directly behind Shappy. Trenton Roberts to Shappy's right. Twins to the left. Inside handoff and he is met but bounces off. This is Osborne to the 30, 40. 45 and knocked out around the 50 yard line. Oh, picking up where you left off. How about Zach Osborne? The strength to get rid of a defender, the speed to outrun everybody else. Yeah, what a fantastic game Zach Osborne's having here. He's doing it all. Already three touchdowns on the day. St. John's, they had two defenders in the back about to wrap him up. He got out and was able to get a big gain on the play there. Yeah, a huge difference maker for this Anna offense, Zach Osborne. Absolutely sensational in that first half. First down, another Wapakoneta Ford. First down for Anna just inside their own 50. A motion faked inside. It's going to be kept by Shappy. He's going to be met and brought down by Josh Mueller, but not before he crosses midfield into Delphi St. John territory. Positive yardage on first down for Anna. Yep, that's great. And I like the play call there for Anna. I mean, they're up 20 points here. Alex Shappy has shown that he can run the ball as well. So smart, run the clock here. They don't need to do anything too hectic. Good play call by Anna. 20 seconds on the play call as a uh, play clock as Anna gets to the line of scrimmage. Inside fake, taken again by Shappy. He's got room to the 35. Stiff arm to the 30, 25. Inside the 25, the strength of the quarterback with a stiff arm. Get off me, dude, says Alex Shappy. How fantastic was that? Yeah, Shappy, he drug Connor Gagne with him about 10, 15 yards down the field. That was fantastic effort. And Anna's showing what they did in the first half. They're driving it down the field. Alex Shappy looking like a workout warrior right there, throwing great jerseys off of him, taking it all the way inside the 25-yard line. Anna rocking the first down yet again, a Wapakoneta Ford first down. Twins to the left. Split backs on each side of Shappy. Looks over to the left, the pump and the go. Jump ball, splash play. Big-time receiver, big-time catch, Noah Oftahar. Fantastic catch there right down. I think they're going to get him on the one-yard line. But, wow, he had pretty good coverage there. He went up, caught that ball. Great pass by Alex Shappy. Man, Alex is coming out in the second half and showing what he can do on the with, with his feet and in the, with the ball in the air. The coaches will say it's a 50-50 ball. Not the case when you have Oftahar going up and get it. Right. That's 75-25, your favor. Anna knocking on the door again. Yeah, we have to mention as well, Optahar, five touchdowns receiving on the season. Almost had another one he there. Sure did. Great battle to go up and get it. Shotgun look, bring the tight end over. It's an over formation to the right. Inside handoff, Osborne, pay dirt. Yet again, Zach Osborne, have yourself a day. Rocket fuel, big time, Anna. Number four on the day, I mean, I don't even have anything else to say about Zach Osborne. Man, he's having a game, and this Anna offense came out looking strong. Well, let's give a lot of credit to Hildenbrand, Billing, Howe, Wilt, and Roberts. If he is the rocket, they are the platform that lets him launch. Great job by the interior five. 100%, yeah. The line doesn't get enough uh, recognition on either side of the ball, so we love to give them a shout out here. They do a lot of great work allowing those running backs to get through. Clay Cummins with the extra point attempt, and this one is true. Anna picks up where they left off right before the end of the first half, puts another one on the board on their first drive of the second half. 
and a 27, Delta St. John's 0 here at Champions Field on WOSN. That touchdown by Zach Osborne was a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Recipe Chicken Touchdown. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where homestyle happens here. Delphus St. John's set to receive, and they need a can of instant points down 27-0. Pullman's got it to the 20, 25. Got a crease, but it's going to be tackled. Well, how about this? And Noah Oftahar, we've seen him show up defensively, some big hits, had the huge catch down to the one a moment ago. And how about this guy running down on kickoff, getting a big time tackle? Tell me he's not a football player. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've been saying his name a ton tonight. What a fantastic tackle there by Noah. So it'll be interesting to see what Delphi St. John's come out here. I mean, if I'm Tyler Lindemann or if I'm coach, I'm telling Tyler, you know, this is your shot. Get out there and show everyone what you can do. And Oftahar gets up, favoring that right shoulder. And he has got himself a stinger. It looks like we actually have Christian Young out at quarterback now for St. John's. Young takes over at a quarterback. First drive of the second half for Delphi St. John's. Changes formation. Anna overloads the right hand side. Quarterback sweep that side to the 30. And he is going to be tackled down there. And Noah Oftahauer makes the tackle, but Kelsey, he doesn't look 100% holding that shoulder, does he? No, he doesn't. That was a good uh, see by you. I didn't see he was favoring that shoulder there, but yeah, he definitely is. Hopefully he's okay. Christian Young, the quarterback, gets a positive gain of four. And Oftahauer is really laboring with that right arm. He stays in the game for now, but... The coaching staff ran right next to us. They, they've they seen it, and they're calling for him to get out of the game. Hopefully he's going to be okay. They're bringing him out of blitz, though. Inside, handoff, and it's going to be absolutely snowed under. Blown up in a big way. Julian Stearns absolutely destroyed it. Almost took the handoff. The sophomore, sensational. Fantastic, yep. Julian Stearns right up the middle there, got him in the backfield. And just like you said, the coaching staff up here, we see off the hard go off the field for Anna. Third down and long for Delphi St. John's. Boy, if they need a first down, they need one big here, don't they? Deep ball, one on one, almost intercepted, thrown out of bounds, well played by Aaron Shappy. And Christian Young tried to test it vertical, comes up empty. And another punt formation time for Delphus St. John's. Yep, target there was Drake Fitzgerald. I think that's really your only option. Get it down the field, see if you can get something when you're at this part of the field. But yeah, another punt for Delphus St. John's, their fifth of the day. Anna's done a great job with their coverage on down and distance. They were playing the sticks, ready for a vertical throw. And Aaron Shapio was Johnny on the spot. Punt by Adelpha St. John's. It's going to be caught on the move by Aaron Shappy to the left sideline, crosses midfield before he is knocked out of bounds. But good starting position again for this Anna Rockets offense who have scored on their last two possessions. They sure have, yeah. And that was a great run back by um, Aaron Shappy there. Great job on the returns. He's had quite a few of them tonight and was able to get about 15 yards there. If you are Nick Marino over on that Anna sideline, you want to see your guys in the green and white have what you call that killer instinct, right? You're oh, up yeah. 27 nothing. Don't don't let the guys in gray and blue and gold stick around and think they can steal this game a little bit later if good things go their way. Go ahead and make no doubt about it on Absolutely. this drive. Absolutely, yeah. Anna offense is looking really good. Keep it going. Back motion inside handoff to Zach Osborne and. For the first time today, Kelsey, I think Osborne's going to be tackled for no gain. Yep, you're absolutely right. Great job by St. John's there. They had him right at the line. They probably know that it's a pretty good chance that the ball is going to him, right? So they did a great job swallowing him up at the line and no gain there for Osborne. Boy, Osborne's really slow to get up. He is laboring in that backfield. 
Alex Shappy looks at him and says, you're tough. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Hopefully he'll be able to keep going here. We'll see if they hand him the ball, see if that really is an injury that we should be concerned about. Five down linemen look. Here's that flat screen to Oftahauer. Oh, what a play by Schaefer. Takes on the block by the receiver and just takes Aaron Shappy and says, I'm going to bench press you in an Oftahauer and stop you for no game. Boy, Schaefer, fantastic stop. Yeah, great job for Delta St. John's here. It seems like the defense is coming out with a little bit of something to, to say. So really good job by them. And also it's great to see Noah Oftahauer back on the field after that injury we thought he had on when they were on defense. Well, he's no dummy. It's a throwing situation, right? right. He wants to get back on that field so he can catch another go ball. The third and nine. Backer blitz by Delta St. John's. Shappy on the move. We're going to have a holding penalty as Shappy throws it <laughs> towards this down box. Oh, that went all the way up in the stands. <laughs> it did. He made that one known. The Blue Jays up in the press box with us are happy to see that one finally fly one go in their How about favor. The, the Anna mom, too, that threw it back in. That was a tight <laughs> spiral. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I really like this over St. John's. The defense has come out, and they're looking really good. It was the inside backer blitz that uh, blew things up. Alex Martz got in the backfield for Shappy out. Holding call, and the people here at Delphi St. John's, uh, they gave a little bit of the Brock's uh, cheer on that one. Delphi St. John's going to uh, decline that one, set up the fourth down punt, no doubt about it. If you're Anna, you punt this ball away. Absolutely. Yeah, let's see if the St. John's offense can come out here and maybe take a little bit of that momentum that the defense gained. St. John's was close to getting one in that first half. Ten men on up. Punt by Shappy. Caught. He's got a little bit of room. Out to the 23 before he is snowed under. That's Gagne that caught it and ran for about 10 yards. Second drive of this second half for Delphi St. John, still down 27-0. Yep, they're going to start their drive on about the 23-yard line, looks like. See if Delphi St. John's can get something going, go down the field. We've seen it earlier. In the first half, they had two that went down the field. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get points off of it. But let's see if they can get that going again. Backup quarterback Christian Young, see what he can do out there. It's a young backfield as young, a sophomore, and Gagne, the freshman, are in the backfield together. Uh, trips to the left-hand side, single receiver to the right of Young. Late uh, snap. And we're going to have a false start as the center double clutched it. Yeah, I think all the refs all out there. I think every single one of them threw a flag out. There was yellow littered all over the field there. And we're going to say Dylan Hummer double clutched the snap, which I never understood. You know, how do you know that is a false start? The center snapped it. Right, didn't snap it the way you liked it, but right. he did snap it. Right. First and 15 now for Delphi St. John's. Uh -oh. Ball goes through the hands, Young catches it, and he's gonna be taken down by off to Hauer. Honestly, I mean, Christian Young did a great job of grabbing the ball there, and I mean, if he doesn't grab a hold of that, that's a touchdown, Anna, so really, for how bad that was, they made the best out of it that they could, I think. It shows what a good athlete he is. Didn't panic, the ball goes through his hands. Does he get uh, credit for a reception? I think he should. He should, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Young sophomore quarterback coming in here. He's keeping composed. Really good job by him. A second down and a quarter of the field. Bunch to the left for the sophomore quarterback, Young. Quarterback sweep to the left. Nice cut by Young. And he is going to get dragged down inside the 15. A, a vicious tackle. These Anna guys show up in an angry way. Colton Hengstler. Statler? I'll let you stick yeah, with that, that one. That, that was <laughs> small. I was told that earlier today, if you don't know the kid's last name, say it real quick so nobody oh, knows. Oh, yeah. That, that was some good advice there. I'm dealing with a double number and a, a name that is cut off by the roster. Oh, so. no. Nice play by Anna defensively. Three down linemen, third and long, bunch to the right of Young. Bad snap again. Young handles it. Throw in the middle of the field. And we're going to get. Oh, there we go. We're going to get a defenseless receiver penalty against Anna. And Plyman hit him with the shoulder pad. Is that Gagne down there? Or it was Austin Schaefer there. 
got hit on the play. But yeah, a great ball by Christian Young there. Good to see him throw it down the field and it was definitely catchable. Yeah, not only Young had to haul in a errant snap, but had to keep his eyes up the field, avoid the rush and yep. make a decision to throw the football. Wow, targeting. Uh, Plyman is going to go over to and get talked to by that Anna Staff and tell him exactly what he did. Nobody wants that targeting call. It's not an automatic first down, however. Third so and five more. Third and about six. Yeah, definitely more manageable, that's for sure. So the, the rule that you got to remember, you got to make a play on the football. If you're not making a play on the football and you're not seeing the ball, they're going to call targeting. Right. And that, that was the correct call. Motion to the right-hand side. Quarterback sweep that side as well. And this one is going to be tackled by one, two, three, four, five white jerseys. Got to love the fact that Anna up 27 nothing, still railing to the football. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they did a fantastic job there. I don't know. If, if I was St. John's there, I, I might take a pass there. I mean, Young showed how, that he can throw it there. Five yards. I don't know about that play call there, but a little, a little bit of positive. A late run on, and they're going to run them off. Got to count them up. Make sure you have 11 on this punt team. Punt is a way. It's a high one. Fair catch signaled. Shappy loses it. Ball's on the ground. And Delphus St. John's comes up with it. And that's what St. John's needed, isn't it? Had a couple good offensive plays there. Fortunately, they weren't able to get it out and put it away, but that's the best that you can get, right? Camden Gable, I think, is the man that comes up with it. Biggest play of this afternoon for Delphus St. John's as the muff punt by Aaron Shappy gives Delphus St. John's a new set of downs on the plus side. First down and 10, Blue Jays. Yeah, they had a little bit of positives there. Let's see if they can come out and do it again. Some momentum here on the side. I, I talk so much about momentum when it comes to football and sports in general because I just think it's huge. So a couple good things happen. Mindsets start to increase. We'll see what St. John's can do here. Anna bringing five inside handoff. Gagne with the fancy feet. Oh, what an open field tackle. Camden Palmasano. Palmasano is Italian for great tackler. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that was a fantastic tackle there of Palmasano. Boy, it looked like he was going to have a little bit of running room, one man to beat. And Palmasano closed it down. Second and 11. Tight end to the right. Going to be a sack deep, but that's that man again, Landon Hewitt, second of the day. Young tried to wait, avoid the rush, but another big-time sack for this Anna defense. Yeah, that was fantastic. They did what I was asking for. I, I said get it in the Young's yard, or arms, get a throw down the field there. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough time before the Anna defense got to him. Uh, this Anna defense loves to apply pressure. Get you in throwing situations. Came in with 13 sacks on the year. Yeah. Adding to that total in a big way. More pressure applied by Anna. Young steps up, throws it the middle of the field. That's going to be intercepted. And a little football karma, Kelsey. Camden Palmasano comes up with the interception. Oh, yeah. Correction, it is not Paul Masano, it's Clay Cummins, number 19, that, that gets that one. And yeah, that's really unfortunate because Tyler Lindemann was wide open in the middle of the field there. Unfortunately, young quarterback Christian Young didn't see it there, threw the ball, and it was intercepted there. Uh, Clay Cummins comes up with the interception. Young tried to avoid the rush, threw it. Cummins just goes down and gets it. And good call by the official because once your knee touches, even though you haven't corralled the football yet to get up, you are down. That is one difference between high school and college in the NFL. 2.51 in the third quarter. Anna dodges a bullet after the muff punt by Aaron Shappy. Delphi St. John's turns it over. First and 10 now for Anna. They sure do. Yeah, that was really unfortunate for St. John's because I feel like they had the momentum swinging their way. They had a couple plays go their way, and unfortunately they just weren't able to convert. 
Uh, Shappy's going to call timeout because they didn't want to run that play with 10 guys. They needed an 11th man out there. Play clock wasn't where you at. You're up 27 to nothing. Go ahead and burn one of those timeouts, get things settled down. So with that, we'll step aside. Anna calls timeout, but still up 27 nothing over Delta St. John's. Kelsey Byron, Miles Holiday here at uh, Champions Field. Nice day for football, especially if you're in the Anna Green and White up 27 nothing. Just called a timeout with 2.51 left here in this third quarter. Chappie spread formation brings Osborne in motion. Jet sweep to Osborne. Osborne stretches all the way to the left-hand side. Best defense of the afternoon by Delphi St. John's on that jet sweep, only a gain of three. Yeah, they really like to do that, Anna, there. Just give it to Osborne, let him run down the line, see if there is a hole open up to run downfield. St. John's did a great job making sure there was no open holes there. They got him just for a minimal gain. And that first down for Anna was brought to you by Wapa Canetta Ford. Gain of three by Osborne. Clock continues to roll, gonna be inside of two minutes when this one is finally snapped, spread look again by Anna. Shappy looks over to his sideline, brings Roberts to his left, side card to his left. Quarterback keeper by Shappy, and he's going to be taken down. That is Josh Mueller, who brings the quarterback to the ground at the line of scrimmage, sets up a third down and about six. A really good job there by St. John's. Like you said, Josh Mueller, he got there, was able to uh, wrap him up minimal gain as well. And that was one of the keys. They want to keep both um, the line of scrimmage competitive on both sides. So they're doing a really good job with that here lately. Cards are stacked against Delphi St. John's here in the second half, missing players that they count on, score not in their favor, but they have continued to play extremely hard. Motion now, fake inside, going vertical. Chappie throws it up. Battle for it, and this one is going to be knocked away. Almost intercepted by Tyler Lindemann. But it uh, looked like the receiver and the DB kind of changed positions, didn't they, Kelsey, they battling for the football? They sure did, yeah. I thought that was a surefire interception there. Camden Palmasano came in and saw that that was going to happen. He played some good defense there and thankfully was able to have uh, the St. John's player drop the ball. Receiver becomes the defensive back, yep. plays the hands, knocks it out of Lindemann's hands. There would have been a surefire interception. But Delphi St. John's okay. It probably would have been the same result as a punt anyhow on the field position. Anna set to kick it away. High snap uh -oh. over Shappy's head. Picks it up at the 15, throws it, and this oh one's going to be goodness. complete. Wow. Wow. Complete for a first down. Oh, how about Alex Shappy not losing his mind on the bad snap and comes up and guns it directly to Camden Palmasano for a first down. And the amazing thing is nobody went upfield for Anna for an illegal man downfield. Nobody, wow, that was, you thought it was awful for Anna there? turning to the worst for St. John's, and he just chucks it up the field wide open, Camden Palmasano. They get a first down off that. Wow, what a play. First down and 10 after the miraculous play by Alex Shappy. Low snap again. This one goes to Osborne, climbs the ladder vertically, gets about seven. Boy, you know you're having yourself a heck of a day when you have a bad snap over your head and it results in a first down. Yeah. I can't say I've seen that too many times watching my uh, high school sports here lately, but oh my gosh, man, that was impressive. Really good job by Anna not to lose their heads too. You know, that could go really bad and they made a fantastic play out of it. They're still going down the field. Chappy hands it to Osborne, works out left hand side. 30, 20, 10, you kidding me? How about a fifth oh, touchdown for wow. Osborne? Pay dirt time, Anna, this rocket explodes. And Zach Osborne, 381 yards on the season, but man, has he racks him up today. Not to mention five more touchdowns in addition to his six rushing previously. Wow, what a game Zach Osborne's having. Moments ago was a bad snap over top the head of Alex Shappy. He saves it, gets a first down, and then Osborne back-to-back -back runs. 
pay dirt time. Zach Osborne, Anna, having themselves a heck of a day. Oh, they sure are. Every time I think that something happens and Delta St. John's going to get a little bit of slur back into the game, Anna just keeps it going. They're doing a really great job. Last play of the third quarter as the time has expired. They'll kick the extra point and we'll be headed towards the fourth quarter. The snap is down. Good operation by Anna. Kick is good. At the end of the third quarter, Anna leads this one 34-0 over Delphus St. John's. We'll be back here at Champions Field. You're watching high school football on WOSN. It has been an explosion of points here for Anna at Champions Field. They lead this one 34 and nothing. Miles Holiday, Kelsey Beimer, having ourselves a great time calling high school football here on WOSN. That touchdown was a Lee's Famous Recipe chicken touchdown. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken, where homestyle happens here. Kelsey, how impressive has been Zach Osborne here today? Oh my gosh, so impressive. I mean, I, I, wasn't, I was expecting big numbers from him, but I wasn't expecting this. So really great job by Zach Osborne specifically, but really the end of offense and defense as a whole has looked really good. Shappy toes it up. This one's gonna come down to Pullman. He's gonna test it to the 20, 25, and he is gonna be bottled up about the 25 yard line. A guy that has been absolutely explosive on returns, done, been bottled up extremely well by the special teams by Anna. Sure has, and yeah, we're at the point now running clock here in the fourth quarter, but Delphi St. John's, they've shown good football today. I'd say get out on the field there, show Anna what you can do, get some points back on the board. Well, we, you and I, we're not supposed to root, right? We don't right. want to root for teams, but I, I do always like to see a team that is uh, getting shut out and they're down with a running clock, at least get a touchdown to get a little bit of momentum the next week, right? Yeah, absolutely. You don't just want to lay down and give up in a game, right, too? Show that you have some fight in you. Uh, Christian Young barking the signals. He is the third quarterback that has worked here today. He's going to fake inside and keep. Midline action. Gets it out uh, to close to a first down. They're going to go ahead and say first down. And that is a Wapakoneta Ford. First down, Wapakoneta Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Clock continues to roll as it's going to be a running clock with a 34-0 score. Quarterback sweep. And hello. Big time delivery on some shoulder pads. Landon Hewitt, what we have called number nine as a missile, not just a rocket here tonight. Absolutely, and Noah Oftahar was there as well. But one thing seeing, uh, you, like you said, third quarterback in here, Christian Young, I think he's shown that he's a pretty good run threat. Well, the nice thing about him too for Delphi St. John's, just a sophomore, so yeah. you're building towards that future, getting him important moments that he can build on. Young looks to his left. Yeah, Rolling that way, lead block by Gagne. Yeah, throws it to the sideline. And this one's going to be incomplete. Tough to throw that pass when you're rolling to your left. And quite honestly, not sure which receiver he was throwing to. Right. And, and there was defenders all around. So he did a good job to at least throw it in there and give his receiver a chance at grabbing that. It was a flood concept. He had the out at about 10 yards. He had the out at about 15 yards, and one of those receivers were kind of layered. And I guess throw it because you might have two guys have a chance to catch it. A third and 11. Trips to the left. Single receiver to the right. Five defensive backs deep. Fake inside, and it's going to be met by just about every defender for Anna. Yep, unfortunately that one didn't work out too much. We'll give a shout out to the Anna line there. Nolan Howell, Nolan Witt, and Gage Hill and Brand. Yeah, Wilt uh, makes a big tackle. 24 tackles coming today, but been kind of quiet though. Five sacks coming in today, seven tackles for loss. He's been a big play guy on the defensive line. We haven't called Wilt's name a ton. It's been a lot of the linebackers making big plays for Anna. It sure has, yeah. Every line of the defense there, Anna has good players. 
Punt by Delphi St. John's, gonna be a little bit short. Gonna die right there at the 40 yard line, just like one of Kelsey Beimer's pitches from about 90 yards away under the green. Just gets it to set right oh by the boy. pin, don't you? Uh, I try. I did get one a birdie one day with one of those. So. You did? Mm -hmm. But that was the only one, so I, I can't talk up my golf skills too much, but it is fun. What uh, what happened to the birdie? Was it okay after you <laughs> hit it? or? I didn't hit a birdie, although oh. I'm sure that's more believable. Oh. Okay. But. First down at the 41 yard line for Anna. 7.34 left as they begin this drive. St. John's showing two backer blitz inside, inside give. This is going to be Aaron Shappy. Climbs vertical for about four. Really great, great game by the Shappies today, huh? Absolutely. Alex Shappy has made a lot of plays. Alex has been very steady Eddie. You wonder just how much longer the ones will be in the game for Anna as this one is definitely going to be in the solid left column for the W. Yeah, I don't know what's happened up here in the press box, but me and the Nats are going crazy. A very welcoming crew of Nats here today. <laughs> Osborne in motion, going to get the jet sweep. He's climbing. Oh, my gosh. Blast that rocket off for another touchdown, but I think this one might be coming back. There is some dirty laundry at about the 50-yard line. Wow, I mean. This is going to be called on Noah Oftahar, number 21. It's going to take another touchdown off the board. Uh, off to Howard asking, what did I do, sir? Yeah, that's unfortunate, but he has five touchdowns on the day already. I wouldn't be too extremely upset. But of course, you always hate to have one get taken away from you, right? Yeah, especially when you have five. What's better than five? Six. Yeah, yeah, I like that. 550, 546. Starter still in for Anna. Up 34 nothing. Jet sweep, pop pass to Osborne, to the 40. This one's going to be well played by Delphi St. John's. And Camden Gable makes the play number 52. Had a big play early in the second half when he recovered that muffed punt. He sure did. Yeah, good job on St. John's defense there after that big play. Got to bring it back, but they're not giving up. And you mentioned the Nats, Kelsey, and I think when you said that, they sent signals out to the rest <laughs> of the family because they're all showing up now. Yeah, I mean, they've been here all game, but now, like, oh, my gosh, I don't know what happened. But Folks, man. You, you've seen that Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds. <laughs> That's exactly what it's <laughs> like, but with Nats up here. It is. All of our glasses, our papers, everything. Third and ten, inside handoff. This is going to be Roberts, who... Gets over past the 45 to about the 47. Anna keeping things on the ground. They're going to move it back inside the 45. His knee was down. Sets up a fourth down. Punting situation for Anna. Yep, clock still running here. About 4.20 left in the game. See if Anna can finally get down the field and get some points. I mean, there's been a lot of unfortunate things happen to Devil St. John's this game. But Anna... Every time that they've had a chance, Anna's really closed down and made sure that they weren't able to get points off of those opportunities. So really good job by Anna today. There it is. Inside fake, it's Roberts. Roberts to the 35, steps out of bounds, and we're gonna have Stay another classy. flag. Stay classy. Stay classy. Fake punt up by 34, draws the ire of everybody in blue and gold. Yeah, definitely wasn't expecting that. That one's coming back, or else they would have had the first down. But, wow, running clock up 34, three minutes left, and they decided to go with a fake there. But, I mean, to their credit, it worked. Got Versailles and Marion Local next for Anna, maybe putting it on the film. So they have to spend some time and maybe put it on film so they have to practice against it. Yeah. 315. 
Left, fourth down. They're going to have a false start as one of the offensive linemen for Anna reached down, put his hand down on the ground, and then pulled it back up. Fourth down and about a country mile for Anna. 239 left. We have clock still running here. Play clock inside 15. Anna not in a hurry to snap this. That's Alex Shappy back on the punt. Jeff John, St. John's comes after that one. Going to be fair caught, signaled, and corralled about the 34. Gagne yeah, catches that one, and this will be the last drive of the game as the clock continues to run. It will, yeah, and I just wanted to say on that punt there, Shappy did a really good job because Delphine St. John had pressure on him. He did a good job kicking it straight up in the air. Well, not straight up in the air, but pretty high up, so they weren't able to get to him. So good job by Shappy there on the punt. He's definitely a really good punter for, for Anna. This will be an interesting post game as both teams will shake hands and coaches will talk to each other as the fake punt and the jet sweep to Osborne drew the ire of a lot of the people in blue and gold. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely some uh, people on, or personnel on both ends that aren't too happy, but. The ball's going to be batted back, knocked down. I think it was Wilt that might have got his left hand on it. St. John's not in a huge hurry with one minute left here in this game. St. John's next two, Coldwater, St. Henry, doesn't get any easier for the Blue Jays. Hand off, fake inside. This is kept. Nice fake inside by Christian Young. He's going to get vertical for some positive yardage. Yeah, I like what Christian Young has come in and, and done. Not a ton, obviously no points on the board, but just looking at him, I think he's going to be a good quarterback going forward for St. John's whenever they need him. I'm mean, really unfortunate today, St. John's losing Drew Boggs, their quarterback, Ian Logan Duncan, a force on both the offensive and defensive lines. So they definitely had their mishaps, but I think if you could take any positives out of this, I, I like what uh, Christian Young's doing. Yeah, I, I like his future too. A nice little athlete there. Hopefully Drew Boggs is back next week though. Yes, that, that would be huge for the Blue Jays. Miscommunication in the backfield, and this one's going to end the game. Christian Young gets tackled as the scoreboard goes to triple zeros. Uh, Anna's going to get the win here today, 34-0 over top of Delphi St. John's. Kelsey Beimer, final thoughts on this one? Oh, this has been a really interesting game. I mean, I thought I was going to be close going into it. There was a lot of things, a lot of penalties that swayed game or swayed items. I think at the end, Anna just took a hold of all of those, and it really went their way. So, and like we said a million times, fantastic showing by the running back there for Anna, and they just looked really good today. We want to thank Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Wapa Canetta Ford for sponsoring this one. Uh, both teams still have an opportunity to moving forward. Anna moves to four and two. They have a tough road to hoe though with Versailles and Marion Local up next. Still going to be working towards those playoffs. Delphi St. John's, they're going to drop to two and four. Coldwater and St. Henry next. Boy, they're going to have to get healthy in a hurry, aren't they, Kelsey? They sure are, yeah. Those are two big losses for St. John's there. Let's hope we see both of those players out next week back on the field and that hopefully they can turn around and get a win there. For Kelsey Beimer, I'm Miles Holiday saying thanks for watching high school football here on WSN.